Good morning. Um, it's 6.17 a.m. 18. 6.18 a.m. On Thursday, February 18th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and this is five more minutes because I just got up because that was not an awkward way to uh, rephrase slightly the thing that I theoretically say every day. I'm not awake yet, really. You know, it's the distinction between getting up and being awake. We often use those two things interchangeably, but not accurate. I, uh, I read an interesting post yesterday where someone was talking about how uh, when someone tries to defeat an argument by just saying, oh, that's just semantics. Um, what they're actually saying is, oh, that's just what the words actually mean. <laughs> that's, of course, what semantics means. Um, oof, yeah, so uh, I didn't actually plan out a topic for today or anything. I'm trying to remember what I even did yesterday that's not just, you know, unimportant things that you guys don't care about. Um, I made shrimp spring rolls for dinner. I, you know, before anyone is, uh, takes that the wrong way. I did not make them from scratch. I cooked frozen ones in the oven. But at least I used the oven and not the microwave, like some sort of a lazy person. <laughs> Uh, I did also um, do a little bit more experimenting with uh, an audio version of Phyllis Esposito, Interdimensional Private Eye. It is something that's going to come out at some point, um, although the longer I take with it, the more, the further ahead the actual uh, website entries get from wherever the audio will be. But, you know, hey, that's fine. I don't think that's a problem, really, um, unless I make it one in my head which I could do, but why? One of the things that I've been struggling with on that one is um, trying to decide on kind of a voice for Phyllis. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going with anything really over stylized, but in particular, because this story is written in first person, that means that I need Phyllis's voice to not only work with a character in dialogue, but it also needs to keep things interesting during all of the narration. So, for example, one of my first things that I kind of tried was sort of a very laconic, you know, not, uh, you know, laconic kind of sarcastic tone, uh, where it's like, oh, really? What do you think about that? You know, that sort of thing. But uh, the problem is that that voice, when extrapolated throughout all of the narration, really brings the energy of the storytelling down. So that's the sort of things that I'm dealing with. I'm also thinking that I need I need to pick some some uh, music just to uh, kind of swell at the beginning and end, and then have a little bit of a, a transition uh, when I'm going between segments. Um, so I'm going to need to pick something like that, but audio version will be forthcoming, everybody. Pop! Got a pop filter here, but very important, do not use it for this kind of pop. You can use it for the kind of pop that's like the sound but not the drink. I'm tired, you guys. Can I go back to bed? Um, no, I need to go to work. Um, the new season of Survivor started last night, but I haven't watched the new episode yet. Uh, just the same. 
Uh, Mike and I did our pre-show for the new season, and we are planning to do our first episode recording tonight on live Google Hangouts. So if you at all are at all interested in Survivor, why not check back later this evening? It'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of 8.30 p.m. Eastern um, to talk about the new episode. I will have watched it by then. All right. Um, in the meantime, I've got to uh, continue consuming caffeine until I can think straight and then go to work. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.